and welcome to another mini slash I don't know transition episode of New Street Tutorials with me, Ross993 on the Steam for Entertainment slash Steam Fight Gamer channel. Yay! <laughs> anyway, uh that intro is really odd. Um anyway, I yeah, whatever. Um so yeah. <laughs> Anyway, today's episode, uh, we're going to be looking at adding a main menu to our game with some UI buttons, uh, positioning, and then also some variable statements, which I kind of, I think I've shown you before anyway, um, with some variables and stuff, obviously in the chess script over here. Anyway, let's go to our script folder. Uh, create a JavaScript, we're going to call this main menu. Now, most of the games I've probably done, I've called it this all the time or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what I would normally do. Oh, God. What's it doing? Oh, it's just uh, probably syncing it to my level. So, let's create a new scene. We can save this one. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is if we do this, we go to the camera and we add this to here. Then we're just going to double click on this, which will open up Mono Develop very slowly or something. There we go. Uh, actually, while it does that, let's go to Edit, Render Settings. Let's add a little skybox to this. I think I've shown you this before. Uh, let's add it to Sunny 3. And if we look at the camera, there we go. Yeah, so we can like hear random hiccups in the background. Uh, I've suddenly seemed to have picked up hiccups while recording this. Anyway, that's like a nice little view. Um, we can think of like, maybe it's similar to the, the hi how I've got the Oscar maybe. Um, how I've got the Oscar maybe. I've got a logo up here for a game and you have all your stuff down there. Anyway. Let's have a look. So, um, function on GUI. Then we're going to add just a couple of basic buttons. We're going to want if. Uh, I think I've shown you buttons anyway. If um, GUI dot button uh, rect. Um, we can use a new rect. Don't really see the difference. I think it's only really a difference in um, uh, CS and JS. Uh, yeah. Uh, C sharp or whatever. Uh, new rect. So we're going to want this as screen dot width. What do I? Whoa. What do I do? Um, so it's the x position. The y position is screen dot width. Uh, screen dot height. Sorry. Uh, what do I? <laughs> what do I two minus hundred. Um, uh, so we have this button at maybe uh, about hundred and the height about. 30. That's normally how I do it. Uh, what we can do here is minus 50, and this will perfectly center it in the width and the height. It's going to be 100 pixels above the center. And then what we're going to do is add our two ending curly brackets there, and that's that. And then what we can do is we can do debug dot log, and then hey button pressed or something like that put whatever you message you want to put and it'll actually sort of respond to that and you'll be able to see down here. Uh, no insertion of GUI button has GUI rect was not found. We have a list in here apparently. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot one thing. Uh, we've actually got to put what we want our button to show. Um, no, it's just after here. Uh, we're going to want this to say, uh, may, uh, may, let's go play, play game. Yeah, forgot the text off the end and hopefully that will work. There we go. Uh, that text is also known as a string. A little bit of knowledge there for you guys. Anyway, click this. Uh, there it is there. And I've got it so it um, collapses. So it just sort of I press this. It kind of prints out so, uh, loads of times down here. And it's got time it's triggered from line 13. If we get to here, line 13. Yes, that's correct. It's been triggered from here. It's also good for bug finding. If you ever have a complicated system, and like there's something's not working in a certain place, you can do this and it'll tell you where you're printing this from, and um, it helps out so much in like fi finding bugs. Um, I think a few multiplayer bugs have been fixed in your car with using this system and removing lines of code that were causing problems and stuff. But anyway, uh, play game. Uh, what we can do then, we, I'm going to use something that I found from doing uh, from uh, Robo. Chiz, who's the pro main head programming person at Yoska, um, he creates a variable called state, and basically this is the state of the the system you're creating. So, like, if it's number one, it's the main menu. If it's number two, it's the home, it's the play screen, or whatever you want. Um, he does it with functions. No, he doesn't. He does it with 
things. No, no, yep. No, sorry, I'm thinking of different things. Um, so state equals one or something like that. Uh, so var state equals zero. So actually, this is going to make sure it equals to the main menu. And uh, in C sharp, and I think a lot of people actually do a thing where I've seen this with uh, things. They actually create menu screens. So they actually create a menu as a string, and then they'll create different functions for that. Um, and stuff like that, but I find uh, doing this, so if state uh, equals, equals zero uh, then if we just surround this then that's that, and we can put the slash rush here state one uh, level select uh, what we can do here, we can just copy this code uh, we're going to want this, so we're going to set this to one um, we're going to want this to be um, a back button. So it means have like a back button. Let's say because it's zero. Let's just see what this does. So we're going to have a forward. Actually, wait. Yep, that's going to work. Hopefully, I hope so. No, it's not because that used to be a T on there. Hit play. <laughs> and then, if we hit this, it's going to do that. Back, play game. Back, play game. Back. If we look here. We got that zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, binary. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so that's that. Uh, we've got a back button, but we're gonna want to move this down a bit. So what we can do is we can have a look where the Y position is, which is here. Actually, let me explain this quick um, for those who don't understand exactly what's going on. So let's say we've got our screen here. This is our screen. Now, depending on your resolution, um, you have a certain size. So HD is um, sort of 720p and 1080p and stuff like that. I think 720p is 720 by 1080 and 1080p is 1080 by... Uh, no it's not. 720p is uh, 720 by 1280 and 1080p is 1080 by uh, 1980 or 1920. I can't remember to be honest off the top of my head. I'm a bit tired. It's nearly 10 o'clock tonight already. Uh, and I need to edit all this up and s other videos and stuff because yeah. Um, so yeah, basically that that's our resolute, that's our sort of aspect ratio and pixels. That's this is how your screen inches is worked out is by that. Anyway, uh, your width of your screen is obviously this, and your height of the screen is obviously this. Uh, now basically what we're what we're saying is we want to put a button. Um, so the center of the screen, um, obviously this is really bad, the center of the screen is probably somewhere here. So we're basically putting our button across the center, but slightly above. That's what our play button is, it's right there. And what we're going to want to do is, for the other, this new menu, I'm going to want to bring a button down here. I'm going to want to put one here, one here, and I'm going to want to put a label up here to display what the level name is, and then in the center, an image or description of the level that you're about to select. Um, and that's what we're going to basically do for our level selection screen. And that's a quick explanation of how to do it. It looks like a face, but whatever. Um, so we've got our back button here. I'm going to create, th obviously, uh, three more buttons. Uh, so one, two, three. So we're going to want a button that has a um, sort of back thing, so you can select different levels. This one's going to be a forward one. Um, this is actually, we're not going to need this one. Actually, yes, we are. We're going to want to. Sorry, we're going to want to do um, play. <laughs> so we're going to have this as a play button. Uh, so now what we want to do is we just want to do this: a screen dot width minus, uh, say, 150, uh, which will put it fix 50 pixels from the center. Actually, let's put this at 250. This is going to put this uh, 250 pixels from the center, but the button is actually going to go over 100, so it's about 150 off. Um, so that's that one. Let's just see what that looks like. There are loads of buttons we're going to overlap here, but let's just see what that one's put. Um, Hopefully this is good. Play game. Yeah, I'm happy with that. To be honest, I probably would have wanted it there, but we'll fix that in another episode. Um, so okay, so we got that one over there. So this one can actually probably be plus 150. Um, for that one, I think would be good. Maybe we can just set it to 250. Um, the back button is actually going to be below, so screen dot height. 
plus no, it's going to be 100, but 2 plus 100. Uh, the play button we're actually going to put above this and put it plus 60. And this is actually going to be um, application application dot load level, and then we're going to do uh, so var level uh, int zero. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to want to put uh, level plus equals one, and over here level minus equals one. Uh, so later we want to put level uh, plus one, because basically whatever level we make it select, this is always going to be the first one. So basically. Actually, we can set this to one. So we, we, we can actually set it so it's that. Um, yeah, let's see if we start from zero. Level plus one, level minus one. And then what we're going to do is in here, if uh, level uh, is less than or equal to zero, uh, then level equals three. So we're going to make it so max level is three. Uh, if is bigger than or equal to three, then level equals one. There we go. Basically, if it ever goes down to zero, it's going to bounce up. Actually, uh, is uh, bigger than or equal to four. Uh, then level is also going to equal to one. So it's never going to go PR, but uh, past one or three. So let's hopefully see if this works. All this is not going to work because we've I've uh, added a little mistake in here uh, because what have I not done? Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, right. <laughs> I used up the uh, wrong thing there. Hopefully, this will be fine. And then we'll probably end the episode off in a couple of minutes. Just add a one other thing. So, if we look here, level one, two. Oh, yeah, that button obviously is going to. Do that. Let's just remove that ability. <laughs> it's just going to set it to another menu. We're not going to be able to test it. Uh, so there we go. We hit play. That should hopefully remove all functionality to do that. Uh, so if we just have a look at this, play game. Uh, oh, there we go. So it goes down to one, back to three, two, one, three, one, two, three. One. So it's never going to do that. So it's, we've now got a maximum of three levels, and if I've actually got this set correctly in the build settings, uh, minus one is not actually added to the build setting. Build settings. We can add car oh, uh, current. Cancel. We can actually add current. Save as obviously main menu. Uh, I'm going to say this is episodes for me. Uh, main menu, and then what we can do is we can actually uh, drag on uh, episodes. Episode four, which is obviously episode five, mini episode thing. Uh, if I now do this, even though we don't have any text or anything, uh, I'll cover that in the next tutorial in another mini episode. Uh, obviously, this is level one. If I hit play, and we're in the game we all love and know, um, which oh, I just need to the sound there, um, which you've uh, obviously created. Your your level has been added. Uh, so basically that's what level 1 would be. So how it, how it loads it is, go for the explanation, uh, build settings. Um, level 1 is obviously the first one we're going to create. Level 2 is going to be the FPS. Level 3 or uh, episode 2 will see. Remind me in the comments below if you want something else. Um, episode 2 will be whatever I do in the next set of tutorials, which will be uh, from episode 5 onwards, because it's sort of like episode 4 point blah 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 blah. Stuff like that. Um, this is sort of a mini series in between. Um, so yeah, simple stuff. Um, so yeah, and then as you add things on, as you see our level selector is basically we're gonna have a maximum of three. So basically, it's gonna load it. So level one, and then two, and then three. It always starts with zero. Now, in f in future, we may change this if we had a splash screen into our game. Uh, depending on how many uh, how many scenes our splash screens are gonna take up, will depend on how much you want to change this, you could actually change it so your your levels might actually start on level 5 you can set this to 5 and you could change these variables so that um, they're always sort of one 
one be this variable is always one below your sort of minimum. So you want it to be one, so this will be zero. So if you want it to be two, this will be one. And this is always one above what you want. So let's say you want to do it five to ten. This will be eleven. This will be four. Um, and then obviously this would go. This would change this to your maximum, and this would change this to your minimum. It, so it'd be one, uh, one more than whatever that is. One less than whatever this is. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Next tutorial, I'm gonna be hopefully a little bit more professional. I'm a little bit tired tonight, uh, as I've seen comments from people saying, "Hey, you should be probably more professional in your videos." But I kind of like to add that kind of thing I do in my videos, where I'm like, you know what? Yeah, it's kind of what Philip Ranko does, I suppose. Anyway, um, enough of that. I just kind of add that into my tutorials a little bit. I know a lot of you don't particularly like that in tutorials, but yeah, <laughs> that's what I can say. Um somehow. Uh, okay, but yeah, that kind of is how a level selection works and that is all you're going to want to know probably. And that is a simple level selection. If you have any problems, always let me know in the description below. Um, basically, I'm not going to release any source code for this because it's on the screen right now. It takes about two minutes. Just copy that down. The buttons you can copy and paste. If I get any comments requesting for source code, you're going to get ignored. I'm sorry but I've just explained that on the screen now. And if you got this far into the episode, uh, be sure to say hi in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe. We're nearly at 700, and I will bringing, be bringing you episode 5 on Monday. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time with me, Ross, on the Steam Fire Entertainment slash Steam Fire Gamer channel. Uh, yeah, bringing entertainment to you. Goodbye.